The world is coming apart. We live in a time where a reality television character controls the largest nuclear arsenal in the world, pseudo-communist regimes start looking like environmental good guys by adding batteries to an ever-growing fleet of cars, and information is so abundant that it is nigh on impossible to know what is true and what is not. Facing such facts, one cannot help but despair when Great Britain decides to shed what little inter-European friendship we still have. And though my speech is hampered by such a terrifying prospect, I must get this simple message across. Born, raised and stuck in the clean, comfortable cold of Sweden, I have been preparing for this moment my entire life. At age nine, when my peers took their first quivering steps on the road toward an American English, I held on tight to my non-rhotic R's and my tube instead of my subway. Oh, and by the way, this is my car. I went on into the pit of journalism, constantly glancing at the pinnacle of reporting, the BBC, yearning for it and for the upgraded storytelling that had yet to make its way further up north. I waited, hopeful that I would find contention, but to no avail. The shackles of journalism eventually started to feel too restricting. I wanted to break free and to tell the stories of others wholeheartedly and with intent, and to be allowed the space to come up with and to test my own ideas. My gaze turned toward PR and communications, and it has not wavered since. Oh, and this, and this, is literally where I grew up. What I have found so far is an immense amount of creativity and a will to move forward. And most amazing of all, I have found a way to make a difference. These are a few of the most interesting messages I have found over the last few years, and I will leave them hanging here for a moment. What I find so fascinating about them is how they show that human emotion, connection and will to communicate seem to dominate in the world of postmodern communications and I love it and I want to be a part of it. And this is how I know that you will not regret bringing me along when and if you decide to leave. But looking ahead for a moment at the future of PR, I believe there are a few questions that call for an answer. For example, how come shared value strategies such as the ones above are not yet more common in the world of marketing and PR? What is journalism in the age when information is freely available to anyone with an internet connection at any time? And how come politics has not yet managed to move onto the internet, allowing the governors and the governed to converse and understand each other instead of being increasingly separated by the fiery gorgeous of populism. These questions lie close to my heart. I wish to explore them and their answers. And I wish to do so in the place where my heart has always been longing to go. I have been training hard and with great purpose all to be prepared for the many difficulties involved in transferring from one culture to another, and I have finally reached the point where I can truly and confidently proclaim that I am ready. Are you? Okay.